priesthood is a vocation of joy, a vocation of work, service, ministry, but joy, because you carry on the work of Jesus Christ. And that's one of the reasons we have a seminary, the Blessed John Paul II Seminary. It's our turn. It's our turn now to do what Jesus asked the apostles to do all those centuries ago. Discerning a vocation to be a diocesan priest begins with a desire for holiness. As a disciple of Jesus and the courage to honestly ask the Lord, how are you calling me to follow you? The seminary is more than college. The seminary is a place of formation, prayer. It's a place where brothers can live as a family in their desire to follow this beautiful call that Christ has given them, to be formed in this call and to be prepared to serve Christ in the world. It's, it's an environment of just of how, how a good family should be, of love, of support, of fun, of seriousness, of prayer. What I didn't expect was just the strong brotherhood uh, and companionship that there is there. We've all come from different places, yet even though we've come from these different places, we all have that same goal in mind, and that just kind of creates a bond that I don't think you can find really anywhere else. The seminary is located near the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, just off the campus of the Catholic University of America. Blessed John Paul II is a place where seminarians live and are formed, where they receive their initial undergraduate or philosophical preparation at CUA before pursuing a theology degree at a major seminary. It takes several years to be formed for the priesthood. One must be formed intellectually, spiritually, pastorally, humanly. But before formation can take place, the first question is, how do I know if I'm called to be a priest? If a man in the Archdiocese of Washington decides that he may be called to the priesthood, and we decide the time is right, then he applies to the priestly formation program. And if he's admitted by the Archbishop of Washington, then he becomes a seminarian, and he begins his formation at Blessed John Paul II Seminary. One role of the seminary is to help a man encounter Christ. In a noisy world, we give him the opportunity to enter into silence, to reflect, to pray, and to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd. It really gives him the opportunity to become the man that God wants him to be. Part of the mission of Blessed John Paul II Seminary is to provide an environment that forms men to be committed disciples of Christ who are free to respond to God's call to the priesthood, including the call to the celibate life. It is an atmosphere that strives to form Christian men characterized by holiness, human virtue, and generous service. Their lives are nurtured by a deep interior life of prayer devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, and a profound love for the universal and local church. They are also nourished in a rigorous intellectual formation that is faithful to the magisterium and the sacred truths entrusted to the church. So our seminary is named after Blessed John Paul II. So naturally we have a great devotion to Blessed John Paul II. Um, and after each mass, we actually have a special prayer that we pray. Um, asking for his intercession to help us grow closer to Christ and, God willing, become great priests someday, just like Blessed John Paul II was. Blessed John Paul II was a man who I really didn't know much about uh, before entering the seminary, uh, but through prayer and just asking for his intercession, I've come to have a deeper love for the church and for the new evangelization. Pope John Paul II was a shining example of pastoral charity in our time and is a wonderful priestly witness for our seminarians. This is the age of the new evangelization. Blessed John Paul is the father of the new evangelization and it's in the seminary dedicated to him and with his inspiration that we're going to prepare the agents of the new evangelization for our church of the new evangelization.